เลิศบัญชา from ธรรมศาสตร์ University today I will share my uh, experience about the minimal invasive postolateral reconstruction so we are the keyhole doctor right we don't like big incision we don't like big scar so <coughs> we propose this technique this is lapra technique from this picture this is probably this <coughs> This one LCL, this one labrat coid, popliteal fibula ligament. But actually, this is not. This is TBO fibula ligament, right? This is labrat. That is classic. Everyone say that this is the best. This is anatomic PLC reconstruction. This is my way. We have popliteus, we have LCL, we have this one. t b o fibula, same like labrat, but like Doctor s o m s a p said, sometimes, many times, we have problem at the fibula, t b o fibula joint, so you cannot base on the fibula base. So that's why I fix my fibula to the tibia using the button, so we can do this way, minimal invasive. Because PLC structure is the deep structure, like p o p l i t e u s If you come from outside, like uh, Dr. Parker show show you that it's very deep. The p o p l i t e u s is very deep, right inside, and you need to identify the nerve. You need to retract the g a s t o c n e m i a s to the tibia base. Use your hand to protect it. It's risky. You risk it to your hand and so to the nerve. So why don't you do it a r t h o s c o p e Because it's the deep structure. You can see it from the joint, right? So that's why I do this by a r t h o s c o p e And LCL is very superficial. It's just beneath the skin. LCL we can do it percutaneous. You agree? Yes. Please shake your head like this. Yeah. Very good. So I show you. This is anatomy. LCL. This is p o p l i t e u s This one, p o p l i t e u s fibula ligament, right? So this is the deep structure. This is superficial structure. Okay. I don't like this. This is big incision, and you cannot see very well. Even you do open surgery. Sometimes you cannot see the tibial tunnel. You need to use your finger to protect it. And many times it's not anatomy, because you need to go in the line of the p o p l i t e u s Okay, you go blind. You're not at the junction of muscular tenderness. Muscular tenderness of p o p l i t e u s you can see from a r t h o s c o p e Okay, I show you. This patient have PCL and PLC. Just reverse p i v o t chip test positive. Okay. Whenever you have reverse pivot chip positive, that means you need to reconstruct the popliteus. Just LCL, just Larsen is not enough. This proof Larsen protect w a l l a c e popliteus protect rotation. If you have dial test positive, reverse pivot chip positive, you need to do popliteus. Okay, Larsen is not enough. So first, I will do this. Uh, Before I do my PCL, first before it's getting swollen, you go to the cutter. Okay, you come from you look at the lateral cutter. From the lateral cutter, you can see p o p l i t e u s coming, right? You can see p o p l i t e u s coming, and then you mark your p o p l i t e u s insertion with your RF, like that. Okay, and then put the pin. From lateral, but very careful. You need to make it upward. If you make it parallel, you you get into the notch. You get into ACL and PCL. So keep it upward. Okay, this is my p u b l i t e u s tunnel. Drill the hole. Okay, you can see. Excuse me. See, this is a p u b l i t e u s tendon coming from the back. You see this. This is p o p l i t e u s So you put it very anatomic. You put it at the insertion of the p o p l i t e u s 
Okay, drill the hole, and also we can preserve this. Okay, so this is the first step. Before doing anything, you should do this first. Otherwise, the j o j o i n t gets swollen. You cannot go to the cutter. Before you do anything, go and make the your p u b l i c i t s tunnel first. Okay, this is a message I want to uh, transfer to you. And after that, you come to the back. Actually, I will do my PCL. When you do PCL, you need to do the transeptal cleaning, right? And I make my femoral tunnel as I present earlier. And after you finish your PCL, you take another 15 minutes for p u b l i t e s because you already clean everything in the back. Okay, you just switch your camera from posterior lateral to posterior medial, and you can see this. This is a muscle. This is tendon. You mark the muscle tendon junction. Like that, and put your aiming device from posterior. Okay, your camera is here, post posterior medial. Your aiming device posterior lateral. Okay, this way. You see, this is muscles, p u b l i t e s muscles. This is tendon. This is muscle tendon junction. Okay, that way, and very really careful. This is more risky than. PCL reconstruction because the vessel is close to the lateral side; it's not in the center. PCL is not that risky. If you penetrate a little bit far, no problem. But for p u b l i t e s you need to be very precise. Okay, I will tell you why. Okay, and then you make a tunnel, keep your suture to the posterior lateral, and then. Pass another suture from the cutter. This is lateral cutter, right? That you already create. You pass these two suture, different color. Put it posterior lateral, okay? And then we we'll pass our graft. Okay, we pass our graft to the tibial tunnel first. Okay, this way to the tibia, and then. Same time, you pass this graft to the cutter. Then, you put the guide pin in before you pass the graft in, because if you put the graft in, you put the put the guide pin later. Sometimes you cut the graft. Okay, so put this guide pin in first, and then you pass your graft from the cutter to the p u b l i c i t s tunnel. That way, okay. Like that, and then you fix it with the screw. So finally, you get anatomy p u b l i c i t s reconstruction. See, the reverse pivot shift is negative. And if you do p u b l i c i t s reconstruction, UPCL result will be better too, because they prove that if you do p u b l i c i t s reconstruction, this is another pool. It's another reduction for UPCL. It help your PCL too. Okay. So that's why a lot of PCL is loose because you didn't do p u b l i c i t s Okay, that's proof. You do p u b l i c i t s reconstruction, you help your PCL, you help the posterior laxity also. Okay. So another patient, this is a doctor. She has p u b l i c i t s but w a l l a stress negative. This patient have intact LCL, but she has torn of the p u b l i c i t s We did the same way. Okay. So if that's dial test positive reverse pivot shift, you need to address the public test. Okay, did the same way, and then we pad the grab like that to the femoral tunnel. Okay, this way. But this patient, I pass it from tibia. Okay, to the gutter, and then put in the femoral tunnel. Like that, and put the screw in. Okay, you see, she has good function. Draw is okay. Rotation is also okay. Okay, she's quite happy. You see the skin incision, very small, just a keyhole, right? So another one, if you have both, I mean, if you have low also rotation, dial test positive. While a stress positive, also 
w a l l a c e s t r e s s you need LCL. So LCL is the superior structure you can do percutaneous. First, I make my femoral tunnel. I split IT band. You can see LCL. You can see epicondyle. Okay, it's very superficial. You can palpate and you make a percutaneous drilling that way. Okay, pat the suture in and then you go to the fibula. Actually, our LCL is very really lateral. Okay, most of the time you do your l a s o n technique. You put your graft anterior, posterior, right? Like like triangular shape. You put it anterior, posterior. Okay. Sometimes it's not anatomy, so LCL should be on the lateral side, most lateral side. If you see the LCL anatomy, so we make a small incisions, and we drill from fibula to the tibia, and then pass the graft in. We use button, see, flip the button, and then pass your graft underneath the IT band. Okay, this is underneath the IT band. Okay, and put the graft into the femur, like that. Okay, this is the percutaneous LCL reconstruction. It's more anatomic. It's very really easy, and also this s a f e to the nerve because you didn't go anterior posterior. The nerve is behind the fibula. Okay. So I also do this mechanical study. So this is in c a t e r w o r s I show you. Okay. Very really easy. You drill from lateral to medial. Okay. Use the button. You pat this button, and then you flip the button. Now the button sit on the cortex, on the medial side. Okay. And then you pull the graft in. This is adjustable loop. See, you pull the graft in. Very really strong. Don't worry about the fracture because you didn't put screw in. You use button, right? And then you pull. See, very strong. And then we pass this into the femoral tunnel. Always put the guy in first. We will not cut the graft. Okay, that way I show you. See, very strong. That can prevent the wallace. It's one that on the lateral side. Okay, and then you put the screw in, right? I show you in Canada because you can imagine this is the way we do. Okay, so it look like this. See, it's overlapping on the LCL. You see, the under is LCL. This is on the top. It's the same direction. If you do l a s o n you need to drill from the front to the back. Okay, and your graft is here, and there. Actually, it's not anatomy. Okay, so this is our study LCL and p u b l i c u s reconstruction in Canada. So we did that in c a d a v e r s p u b l i t e u s l a p r a s e t is not the dynamic. It is the fifth ligament of the knee. From the study, we found that the p u b l i t e u s is not have too much excursion. It's not moving. So this is a static stabilizer. It's not dynamic. Okay. So we did this study. Okay. We resect LCL, LCL with p u b l i t e u s ligament, LCL the, with the p u b l i t e u s And then we make a stress t e l o s okay, shaking. Our technique and the l a p r a technique, we found that there's no difference, okay, of the stability, okay. But actually, it's it's nearly the same, right? But our way is the minimal invasive. Two group, there's no difference about the stability, okay. So, I I tell you some clue. Sometimes you confuse when you do that. First, you see that if you have very severe laxity like that, you should to do both. Just one is not enough. If you just l a s e n or modify l a s e n is not enough. You need to do both. Okay. So if the patient have wallace, okay, laxity, also rotational instability, or severe laxity like this, you need to do both. But if the patient have rotational, this is leeward pivot shift, positive. Okay, but while last stress, see, is not so bad. Now this this patient you can do p u b l i t e s reconstruction. But this situation, you see, this patient have while last positive, but dial test is not bad. 
Okay, reverse pivot shift also negative. You can do just Larson or modify Larson. So just the patient one by one. So this is the clue I give to you. Okay, you have positive board, you need to do both. Okay, while as positive, delta test positive or reverse pivot shift positive, you need to do LCL and public test. Okay, but if there's just while as straight, uh, while as straight positive, you just do LCL. Enough. Okay, but if it's just the down test positive, you just do the public test reconstruction. This is a paper from Raprat. You have more than four millimeters side to side difference, you should do both. If just lastly in Wallace stress, more than 2.7, you just do the LCL, it's okay. Okay? Good. And another thing that you're concerning is the tibial fibula, right? So, tibial fibula is a little bit more proximal, it's about six millimeter so our lcl attachment is lower than that so don't worry if you uh, you not drill into the tibial fibula joint okay it's lower than that okay itself to your tibial fibula joint our location of lcl from the study is about 1.5 centimeter from the tip that is our entry point okay and also so I show you this already. Okay, from the arthroscope where you can see very well, it's an intraticular structure, easy to see from inside, right? And you're safe to the nerve. Okay, this is my position to do that. Okay, you hang the arm down, same like you do PCL reconstruction. Okay, four portals, two in the front, two in the back. Okay. So, show you another patient. We do that way. Okay. I will tell you I have really bad experience in one patient. Okay. Most of the patient is good. But that's one patient. Okay, you see small incision and very good stability. Okay, this is a direction of dealing. Careful, you drill parallel to the jaw, you get into the notch. This is an entry point. You look from scope, you can see very well. You can see this, the muscular tendinous junction. So, this is my painful experience. You see the vessel is here. This is girdy tubercle. If you drill from girdy tubercle, you will hit the popliteal artery. Like this one, my fellow. This is the first week of my fellow. He drew really strong and really fast. You see, that's missed the target. They missed the hole, the pin is there. You see, it's too deep. Really deep, you see? It's about two, three centimeters. See? This is dealing, taking out, really deep. So what happened? The patient have problem that night. There's no pulse and cold. So he called me at 1 a.m. I run to the hospital and calling the vascular surgeon. They come and revascularize right away okay, at 4, at uh, 4 a.m. So, this patient had foot drop. Okay, we do. But the knee is stable, you see? His knee is good. But he has vascular injury. So, recommendation, you should drill from the girdy tubercle. Because from girdy tubercle, you hit the nerve. This is the direction. So, the direction that recommend is a, between girdy tubercle and the tibial tubercle. That will serve to your tibial tunnel. Okay? And... Um, uh, Dr. Shaiwat from PSU, Songkhana Klin, uh, did this study and going to publish. Okay, this is another patient, the same things. Okay, and uh, after reconstruction, you see, your posterior drawer head will be better, guarantee. If you have combined PCL with popliteus reconstruction, I feel that our P posterior drawer test will be better. Okay, so that's the end of my talk. Okay, so I prefer this way. Minimum invasive public test reconstruction and LCO reconstruction. Thank you.